Welcome back to Security in 60 Seconds, the game show where GuidePoint Security's experts have 60 seconds on the clock to answer questions about their area of security expertise in exchange for fabulous prizes. I'm your host, Tristan Morris, and today's guest returning for another shot at our prizes is James Houseworth, Privileged Access Management Lead at GuidePoint Security. James, since this is clearly an entirely new day, how are you doing now? Fantastic. James, we're going to need you to be a lot quicker on those answers. It is all about speed for this one. Today, James will be competing to win another $15 million in an all-expenses four-week trip to Naples, Italy. James, are you ready? Yes. Great, then let's get going. Your first question with 60 seconds on the clock is, what is the most important non-technical skill that a privileged access management practitioner should have? Go. It would definitely have to be empathy. At the end of the day, uh, with the amount of training we have available to us and the exposure we have to multiple customer environments, uh, whether you're at GuidePoint or anywhere else, uh, it's very, very easy to become very ivory tower uh, when it comes to privileged access management. But at the end of the day, right, even on the customer side, when you're implementing PAM, uh, you're trying to get people to adopt the platform or the program that are also the ones who get woken up at two in the morning after staying up all night, you know, with their newborn, right? So they're looking for uh, a very easy way to continue doing their job, right? They're looking for a way to facilitate their job and PAM, you know, to them looks like a barrier. If you don't give them a way to, you know, feel like they have skin in the game, if they're not brought into the process early from an empathy-based approach, adoption rates are going to be very, very low. Wonderful answer, James, with only 10 seconds left on the clock. That was quite impressive. You wrapped it up there just in the nick of time. Your second question with 60 seconds back on the clock is, how many dedicated privileged access management experts does GuidePoint Security employ? Go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so... Uh, Obviously, the PAM space is very, very large and encompasses many, many different things and requires a significant scope of skill sets to really be able to provide a significant amount of value you know, to our customers. So uh, to that end, we employ approximately uh, 35 individuals with a PAM background at kind of point. All right, we probably should have thought that one through and thought of a question that would take a little bit longer to answer. You had 30 seconds left on the clock for that one. And your third question is, how many certifications does the Privilege Access Management team at GuidePoint Security hold? 60 seconds, go. Again, you know, it's uh, we consider ourselves an agnostic shop, meaning that we're here to provide value to customers regardless of what their path to Privilege Access Management maturity looks like, right? Whether that's working with one vendor or another, whether that's helping them uh, you know, do configurations inside of their environment, even outside of the vendor specific platform specific space, right? So uh, to that end, people are getting certified across the board, across multiple platforms, multiple different tools and things like that. So uh, when we look at our certification levels, that's obviously a, a moving target, but at the time we are approximately 35. Really milking the clock for all that it's worth on that one. All we needed was the number, but thank you for the background info, James. And finally, our blitz round with 30 seconds on the clock. James, this is where you absolutely choked last time and blocked yourself from winning your fabulous $15 million in brand new station wagon. Let's see if you can pull it home today. Your final question is, it is illegal to hunt unicorns in 49 states across America. In what state is it legal to hunt the Antilocapitus fable? 30 seconds, go. Wyoming. Is that your final answer, James? You have so many seconds left on the clock. Wyoming or Ohio, one of the two. James, you still have 15 seconds left to go. Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Well, I have to, can I, can we, really quickly, can we, can we, we don't, we didn't have the, are you, but if, did he sign? James, you are correct. Michigan is the only state where it is legal to hunt a unicorn in the United States. We will be in contact with you about your $15 million and four week all expenses paid trip to Italy. One final question for you, James. Did you sign anything before coming on the show today? No. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Security in 60 Seconds. I've been your host, Tristan Morris, for GuidePoint Security. We will see you next time.